Shall we give Jesus a big, big clap offering? Amen. Now, lift up your two hands to heaven, everybody. Again, let's give God thanks for answered prayers. 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 Now give him thanks for the new of strength. Give him thanks again for your personal encounters with him all through this fasting and prayer season. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Amen. Now ask him to speak to you tonight. Jesus, speak to me tonight. One word from heaven in your direction can trigger a 360 degree turnaround. Jesus, speak to me tonight. Let your word find an entrance into my soul. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Father, thank you this moment for all you have been to us since this fasting season began. Thank you for diverse answers that we have received to our prayers. Thank you for questions you have answered. Thank you for direction you have shown. Thank you for every way you have manifested yourself to us. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Just a few more days to go. We believe you that whatever remains as balance for any of us in this 21 days of prayer and fasting, shall be duly delivered. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. It's my new dawn era. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please be seated. We've been looking at this uh, line of thought in our evening prayer meetings. How do I know when my prayer is answered? How do I know when my prayer is answered? We serve a prayer answering God. He has ears and hears. He has eyes and he sees. He has a mouth and he speaks. Our Heavenly Father is a divine personality, it's not a myth. O thou that heareth prayers unto thee shall all flesh come. Psalm 65 and verse 2. It's a prayer hearing. And prayer answering God, call upon me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. We need to build our faith in the reality of the God person. We need to build our faith in the reality of the God person. not a Zoom existence, not a Zoomed existence. Maybe somewhere. I don't know. 
For those who do know their God, not know about their God, those who do know the reality of being of their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. We need to build our faith in the reality of the God person. God is not a myth. God is not a thing. God is not an idea. He's a living father to all the redeemed. We are not praying to an idol. We are praying to the living God. Nebuchadnezzar confirmed Daniel servant of the living God is thy God whom thou servest continually able to save you. Living God Now we've gone through a few things, but tonight let's look at this aspect of this subject. How do I know when my prayer is answered? When your faith says so. When your faith says so. Because you must receive answers first spiritually because it is before it is delivered practically. When your faith says so. For all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayers Believing, you shall receive. So it is your faith that announces when your prayer is answered. Glory to God. Hannah rose up and took bread, and her countenance was no more sad. Her faith has validated her, the delivery of her prayer. Her continent is no more sad. Show me your faith without your actions, and I show you my faith by my actions. When your faith says so, because answers to our prayers are first received spiritually before we can have them Practical. Everything about prayer is all about faith. Not make believe, not a belief system. Active confidence in the values of scriptures. I mean, active confidence confidence in the values of scriptures regarding the subject matter. Active confidence. This is so important. So, coming to the prayer altar, we are asked to come with full assurance of faith. So, access to the prayer that must be answered must be with full assurance of of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from evil works and evil conscience. 
and our bodies washed with pure water. We are not putting our hands somewhere here, another one somewhere here, and now trying God to see whether he can support this system. I've never had an alternative to Jesus on any subject in my life since he saved my soul. I got saved 49 years ago. I got married to Jesus 42 years ago. I've never, I've never tried an alternative. The reason why many are frustrated today in this part of the world is they are toying about with alternatives. They are toying about with alternatives. Until your expectation is only from God, your frustration continues. Psalm 62 verse 5. He said, my soul, wait thou only, only, only upon God for my, my expectation is from him. A double-minded person is unstable in all his ways. Let not that man think he shall receive anything from God. We must come with full assurance of faith in God's unlimited capacity to deal with the issue in question. God's unlimited capacity to deliver your desire. That God is not only up to it, God is more than it. That is number one step to come to the point of faith when you pray. You come with full assurance of faith in the integrity of your God and his word. The immutability of his counsel. The scriptures cannot be broken. You come with that. Come. Look, you need it. You see, I have a few more hours before this fast is over. Don't think that by your groaning, you'll be hard. Groaning is not a factor for answered prayers. Faith is the real factor. Faith is the master factor as far as answers to prayer is concerned. Every other prayer you pray between now and when this fast is over shall be delivered raw. Yeah. Somebody believe that? Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Until your faith and my faith says it is received, your hand cannot take delivery. Because it is what you believe you have received spiritually that is eventually delivered to you practically. Mark eleven twenty four. 24. Whatever thing you desire, when you pray, believe. Believe. And now, this is the thing. God can believe for you. Jesus can believe for me. The just shall live by his faith. Everything is ready, but only your faith can take delivery. He said, Come, all things are now ready. How many things? Okay. Luke 14 and verse 23. All things, 17, sorry. All things are now ready. Second Peter 1, 3 is giving us how many things? All things that are made for life and godliness. Now, they are accessible on the prayer altar, but deliverable by faith. Accessible on the prayer altar, but only deliverable by faith. Only deliverable by faith. So everything about answers to prayer is all about faith. All about faith. All about faith. Lazarus was thinking, and Jesus said, I thank you because you have heard me. And I know you hear me always. So when I pray for him to get up, I know you heard me. Now he's thinking right there and that's the top, but I know you have heard me. Now, Lazarus, come and show everybody that God has heard me. Your Lazarus will come out of the grave. Yeah. That is a practical demonstration of faith. So we come in with faith, we ask in faith, and we refuse to stagger through unbelief. 
until we take delivery of what we ask for. Can I hear your amen? amen? You come by faith, you make demand by faith, and you refuse to stagger through unbelief until you take delivery of what belongs to you. It's all of faith. So we don't only need faith to come, we don't only need faith to pray. We need faith to refuse to stagger. So as to take delivery of what belongs to us. Now, let me tell you why faith is the de facto. Why faith is the real thing. Now, every time you demand for your inheritance, opposition will always rise from here. And I tell you something, there is no devil in hell that can challenge the efficacy of faith in battle. Above all, taking the shield of faith and you quench all the fiery darts of the devil. How many of them? The prince of Persia? The prince of Armageddon? The prince of Nigeria? The prince of Africa? No matter where the resistance is coming from, the shield of faith has the God-given capacity to quench it. That's why it takes faith to take delivery of answers to our prayers. Some um, teachers and theologians have tried to classify faith. Uh, they call one prayer of faith. I said, look, there is no, any prayer that is not of faith is no prayer. It will never deliver. Every prayer, intercessory, supplicationary, no matter what. Any prayer void of faith will be void of answers. The scriptures cannot be broken. Let him ask in faith. Or let not that man think he shall receive anything from God. How do I know when my prayers answer? When your faith says so. And refuse to stagger through unbelief. What your faith says, your hands will handle. Your eyes will see and your hands will handle it. So it is not the length of prayers that matters, but the strength of faith engaged with. The strength of faith engaged in the prayer. It's not the length. The faith. For the thing by much speaking, they shall be heard. It's a faith. In fact, you are admonished to have reflections of faith in the course of your prayers. To have faith reflections in the course of your prayer. Scanning through scriptures by the help of the Holy Spirit. To reinforce your faith and confidence in the God of all impossibilities. Now you are there. Abraham staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully persuaded. So the, the delivery process does not end when you pray. Or when you receive the word of truth. It's sustained till when you receive. Till when you have in practical terms what you have received in the spirit. You look at that mountain, you are gone. You are gone. You are an empty void. There is nothing in you. My God has leveled you. My God. And the growth seems to be expanding. You lie. 
Amen. Whatever God says is gone, is gone. You are gone. The devil says, it appears this man knows the rule of the game. You probably say, I thank you, Jesus, because this growth is gone. It's gone forever. This is camouflage. I say, you are gone. You are gone. Say, mm. I say, you are gone. You just wake up one morning, you can't find it anymore. That's how faith delivers answers to prayers. Don't let what you see after this season confuse you. When Jesus caused the fig tree, it was still looking green. By the time they came by the following morning, Jesus, the fig tree which you caused yesterday, and we're all laughing at you because we look back, it was still green. <laughs> I stretched my neck, it was still green. And they were saying, oh, that master will not allow us to have passed through this place because we'll see the tree. By the time they got there, it has dried off from the roots. Relax. Whatever you have demanded by faith, <laughs> remain in faith and refuse to trust stagger no matter how it may appear. It's the cheapest way to level it out. You have demanded for the delivery of your miracle children. They have arrived. <laughs> Don't let any sign, including the sign of rushing period, confuse you. It's like nose bleeding. It's excess blood. It's not a child. You are not pregnant with, a, with blood. You are pregnant with a baby. But you, are, you can show me a baby in that blood. If I know that it's your baby that came down, refuse to be moved by anything contrary to what you believe. Refuse to be moved. Refuse to be moved. Somebody else was having menstrual period throughout and still delivered. They are two different period and baby. They are not the same. They don't have the same spelling. Amen. Glory to God. Many people have been pregnant in each other. They didn't know until when they were going to deliver. That daughter of Abraham at 54 or something. Or something and, uh, 1968 got married. They didn't know she was pregnant. Jesus kept the baby. Of the sight of all the witches of Egypt. Until the day she will deliver. Who morals God? Now you have your babies. Yeah. Your miracle marriage is settled. Yeah. As you are finishing this fast, you are entering to your miracle job. Yeah. That sickness and disease has been caused from the roots. Is tasked to dry up now. Amen. So, it takes faith to be assured that your prayers answer. It takes remaining in faith to ward off the oppositions from robbing you of the answers. It takes refusing to stagger. To keep all forces of the wicked at bay until you take delivery of what belongs to you. Everything about prayer that must be answered is about faith. Everything. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lift up your right hand to heaven and give him thanks from the depth of your heart. Now, for any prayer you believe he has answered, give him thanks. Whatever demand you have made on the prayer altar, during this season that you believe Jesus has answered, give him thanks. La Roche Canade, Saseso, Parada, Gekato, Prekeno, Sesiko, Parekatas, 
Sesi ayaga, shashi gerero, bekita kolata, sesi alotale. Now, give him thanks. Give him thanks. In Jesus' precious name, you had the testimony of that young man that came into the prayer and fasting time and now for four years liberated clean. Now, 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 there is no recovery center or rehabilitation center that can get that done to get you off drugs, get you off alcohol for four years. No, for a new convert. Whatever you say no to, all through this season of prayer and fasting, you'll never see them again. Somebody believe that in me, your loudest amen. So shall it be. He said, In the course of the prayer and fasting, I came and gave my life to Jesus. It's new birth that makes you an overcomer. Until you are born again, she could attend. You could have attended that meeting all out. He won't overcome. It will be worse than before he came. But new birth licenses him to become an overcomer. If you're in this service tonight, whether here at the youth chapel or any of our view centers across Lagos and not at the Zona Fellowship Centers, you want to enlist as an overcomer in this embattled world. The world is an embattled place. Amen. The wicked rejoices when you are down. When you are up, they want you down. By all means. You want to live an overcomer's life. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Don't assume new birth. Experience it. New birth is not an ideology, it's an experience. If any man be in Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away, all things have become new. If you want to surrender your life to Jesus tonight, I want to invite you to stand. Stand to your feet. And I'll be praying with you. Everybody that wants to say yes to Jesus tonight, just stand. You want to say yes to Jesus tonight, please stand. You want to have a new beginning tonight, just stand. You want to enlist as an overcomer tonight, please stand. Now, there are also people that were perhaps born again at a point, but God disconnected in the process. And they know they are disconnected. You want to reconnect back to God tonight. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus tonight. Wherever you are, please stand to your feet. Everybody. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Please stand. This is your chance to change your story. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Please stand. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Please stand. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Please stand. Wherever you may be, stand to your feet. And I want everybody standing to please come. Come, come over. Come over. Come over. Come over. Come and have a new beginning. You are still free to stand in case you didn't stand at that time. Please stand. It's never late to be right. You want to stand and join us? Please come. Please come. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the vision that overcomes the world, even our faith. Please come. Wherever you are, come. This applies to all the viewing centers across Lagos Hotel. Please approach the altar area right now so we can pray together at the same time. Now, would you please bow your heads for prayers? Lift up your right hand to heaven. Lift up your right hand to heaven and pray this prayer of faith after me from the depth of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you tonight. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. 
I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again. That I might be justified. Right now. I believe. My sins are now forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. And I proclaim you tonight. As my Lord. And my Savior. Thank you Jesus. For saving my soul. Thank you Jesus. For restoring me back to the faith. Take all the glory. Amen. Amen. Now keep your hands up as I pray. Father, I pray over these precious souls. Your grace has brought them into your kingdom. Let your grace preserve them. Amen. No force from hell shall draw you back from following Jesus. Amen. You will run this race to the end. Amen. Welcome to the overcomer's world. Amen. Your struggles are over. 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 Amen. In Jesus' precious name, I cover every one of you with the precious blood of Jesus. Remain covered till the day of his appearing. In Jesus' precious name, praise the Lord. Congratulations, church. Give the Lord a big hand for them. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please walk this way to su submit your cards and then you get back to your seat. Shall we all rise? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Say so with me, new birth licenses me to be an overcomer. It's my right to overcome by reason of new birth. And with faith at work in me, I live a triumphant life from henceforth. From henceforth. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, before we partake of the communion, please understand that you don't wish faith to develop. You develop your faith. Faith comes by understanding the word of God. You feed on the word to grow your faith. Your faith won't answer to wishes. You cultivate it. Or you have nothing to show. Please build your faith. Build your faith. That is the substance of your life. No faith, no substance. No faith, empty. No faith, vulnerable. Build your faith. Build your faith. And enjoy your adventure in life. Build your faith. Sickness will bow to faith. Oppressions will bow to faith. Attacks will bow to faith. Spares and enchantments will bow to faith. That's why I said it is to you according to your faith. The just shall live by his faith. The quality of any believer's life is a function of the quality of faith that you operate with. Build your faith. It's your greatest asset in the adventure of life. It is one thing that quenches all the harassments of the devil against your life. Build your faith. Lift up your two hands. Grace to build your faith now receive. Grace to keep building your faith. Receive it. Faith has unlimited capacity for growth. Grace to keep building your faith from one level to another. Receive it. Receive it tonight. Receive it tonight. Grace to build your faith from one level to another. Enhancing your level of spiritual authority. Now, take that grace. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take that grace tonight. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Now, let the stewards take their positions right now as we serve the table of the Lord. Whatever you desire from the table of the Lord tonight, lift up your two hands and receive it. We are empowered to live like him by the mission of the communion table now. Whatever does not look like him in your life now, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Whatever does not look like him in your life, bye-bye to that thing. Sickness is not like him. Oppression is not like him. 
Failure is not like him. Frustration is not like him. Frustration is not like him. Begging and struggling for survival is not like him. Now, whatever is not like Jesus, check it out. 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 Check it out now. Check it out now. When your faith is coupled with prayer and fasting, no barrier can stand on your way. Check it out. Enough is enough. And it's enough forever. Now, check it out. Check it out. Check it out by faith. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Now, this table is a point of contact to what the table said across the Zona Fellowship Centers. And in this room, it is declared right now as the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Yeah. As you partake of this, you never cease to have something to show. Yeah. It will show in your health. Yeah. It will show in your spiritual life. Yeah. It will show in your prayer life. Yeah. It will show in your work with God. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now, I decree healing for the sick. Yeah. Deliverance for the oppressed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus precious name. Amen. Please get seated. And take your turn. In faith. Everything works by faith. I'm satisfied with Jesus, I'm satisfied with Him. My faith in Him shall never fail, I'm satisfied with Jesus. Are you satisfied? Are you satisfied? My faith in Him will never, never, never fail. With Jesus, are you satisfied? Are you content with Jesus and my faith in Him? It will never fail, it can never fail. Are you satisfied? Jesus is enough for me and my faith in Him. Jesus, are you satisfied? Lift your voice and say, if you know that your faith in Him will never, never fail. Are you satisfied? He is all we ever need. He is all we ever need. It will never, 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 never fail. 
Not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen, they are eternal. Therefore, let your eyelids look straight before you. Whatever you have asked God for in faith is done already. Yeah. Don't let how it may appear affect you. God told me. At the base of this ministry, we'll build a tabernacle that will seat 50,000 people. But here we were, he said that in 82, here we were in 84, and we were 24 people in March. By July, we were 90, that is 50,000. You know how long it will take you to feel that? Where your faith stops is where your testimony stops. Where your faith stops is where your testimony stops. I had a visitation of the father and he delivered to me the key of financial fortune. And then in 86, now he delivered that to me in 82, 86, I needed 500 naira to travel. And I said, Jesus, if I have 500 naira, I'll make this trip. If I don't, I don't have to make it. I'm not under any obligation. I needed faith to attract 500 naira in 86. Don't mind me. Where your faith stops is where your testimony stops. Jealously guard your faith. Yeah. 
is your life wire. Jealously guard your faith. Where are you? Because some people now, after this prayer, they just sink. I thought that after the first week, you would have healed me. He has healed you. Is your faith resisting delivery? Your lack of faith, your, your read like faith, shaking faith. That's why it's not come. You know, you're giving a direct expression of what is in your heart. How dare you? When Jesus hit me up, took back losses, I knew. But I still was coughing once in a while. It's nonsense cough. It's not original. It's fake. So it faded on its own forever. Now listen to me. You better guard your faith. Where your faith stops is where your victory stops. Where your faith stops is where your testimony stops. Jealously guard your faith. Refuse to stagger at the promise of God from belief. You know why I shut the devil down? Whatever God cannot do, let it remain undone. Nonsense. I'm not looking for anything from anywhere else. Jesus, wherever you can take me to by yourself, don't let me ever get there. Whatever you can give me, may I never have it. You can silence the devil with your faith. I would rather die believing God than live in unbelief. This God is real. Is he real to you? You'll never see sickness again in your life. No more harassment of the devil on you and your family. Your generation after you will never be. Untimely death is over in your household. You will see your children's children to the fourth generation. The devil shall no longer de molest the works of your hand. Whatever agent of the devil won't let you go, he goes for you today. And so shall it be. Remember tomorrow is the night of night. Amen. So come ready for an encounter with this Father God. Real God. The living God. Come ready for harvest of answers to your prayers. It shall be a night of harvest of answers to our prayers. The answers will be dropping visibly. Everything you stood for will be coming down from heaven. And the name of the Lord shall be glorified. Now lift up your two hands and ask God, I'm ready for my portion tomorrow night. Help me to dance my way into your heart in appreciation of your faithfulness. Help me to dance my way into your heart in appreciation of your faithfulness. Celebrating your faithfulness. Celebrate the reality of answers to prayers. Let it be a night of harvest of answers to my prayer indeed as spoken by your prophet. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your two hands. I declare your household blessed. I declare all that pertains to you blessed. I decree that all your concerns be turned into testimony. I decree that every air of sickness be turned to wholeness. Now receive new fire for the few hours remaining. Your voice shall be heard on high. The answers will land on the earth. The few hours remaining will be hours of surprises. Things nobody could imagine about you will happen in your life. Now you have your miracle children, go celebrate. You have your miracle job, go celebrate. 
You have your miracle marriage, go celebrate. You have your breakthrough in business, go celebrate. You have breakthrough in your spiritual life, go celebrate. And so shall it be. Lift up those two hands and give God praise. Lift up your voice and give him thanks from the depth of your heart. Celebrate him and glorify the name of the Lord. Is worthy of all praise, is worthy of all glory, is worthy of all honor, worthy of adoration. Bless his name. Father, thank you. We celebrate you, we honor you, we glorify you. You are worthy to be praised, worthy to be glorified. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us share the goodness of the Lord together, surely. God's goodness, message shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, nor ears heard shall become the order of the day of my life this year. Congratulations, amen, and amen. Congratulations, somebody, as you go, and be blessed.